Hi guys, Moe here from the University of Greenwich and uh, in this video we're going to be looking at trigonometry. But before we get into looking at an actual example, I want to go through some of the rules that you need to know uh, when looking at questions that involve trigonometry. The first thing we're going to be looking at is how to label a triangle. Okay? So over here we've got a triangle with a right, a right angle triangle with a given, well not a given angle, but we're going to represent our given angle by theta. Okay? So the side that's opposite our right angle, we label this as our hypotenuse. Okay? This is always the case. With any right angle triangle, um, the side that's opposite our right angle, again our right angle is denoted by this, any side that's opposite it, we denote this as our hypotenuse. Okay? When you're given an angle, the side that's opposite our angle, we denote this as our opposite. Okay? So we label this as an O. And the final remaining side, that's going to be our adjacent, which is adjacent to our angle. So if we look at it in this kind of perspective, We've got a triangle, we've got an angle here which is 30, let's just say it's 30, and we've got 20 representing the length of this, again this is a right angle triangle, just need to show that, and we've got a side of 10 here, okay? Our 20 over here is our hypotenuse, so we can write hypotenuse equals 20, alright? This side over here represents our opposite, so we know our opposite is 10. So this is how we would label it. So if you're given a triangle like this and you need to talk about this side, you would, you would call this side your, your hypotenuse, you would call this your opposite. If we were given 10 over here, then instead of your opposite being 10, your opposite is going to be unknown, because we don't know, and your adjacent is going to be 10. The reason why we need to know how to label our triangles correctly is because we need to know how to use these um, values and use our trigonometric ratios. A generic way to remember these ratios, because you're not going to be given these in the exams, okay? So they're not going to be in your formula sheet at the beginning of your exams. So the generic way that most people use to remember this kind of these kind of ratios is the phrase so ka toa. I'll explain how we use these ratios in a bit, but for now I just want you to remember this so ka toa. So if we're given this example where our hypotenuse, if we compare the two, our hypotenuse is 20 and our adjacent is 10, okay? So our hypotenuse is 20 and our adjacent is 10. And suppose that we're not given this angle, theta, okay? So we label this as theta. A question may ask you to work out the angle of theta. When they ask you to work out this angle, you're gonna have, you're gonna have to use what you already know, what they've already given you to do this, okay? So we know our hypotenuse is 20 and our adjacent is 10, okay? If you look at the two variables or the two letters that have been given to us, that's H and A, okay? So that means we're going to be using the corresponding Sokatoa word that uses these two. As you can see, so we don't have an A and a H. With car we have an A and a H. So that would suggest that we use this ratio, the cos ratio. So in that terms, you're going to put this ratio up. Cos theta equals A over H, okay? We substitute our values into this. We've got cos theta equals a is 10 over here so 10 over and h is 20 okay so we can rewrite this as cos theta equals a half okay and remember the question asked us to find out what theta is we need to do one final operation to this and that is the inverse of cos so we're going to get th theta equals the inverse of cos which is a function in your calculator. You should be able, to, you should be familiar with this, and you should be able to know how to use this. And you're just gonna put your half in there. So once you plug this into your calculator, you should get a value of 60 as your theta. In the next part of the video, we're gonna move on to a slightly harder example, but it uses the same principles that I've gone through right here.